welcome back to the channel and another new video and in this video i'm going to share with you how you can enforce best practices some of the best practices for your kubernetes clusters using commodore so if you don't know what commodore is it's a it's a it's a troubleshooting platform you know that automates kubernetes troubleshooting for you as you can see on the website how they do it you can check out over here you know uh, all the pipeline and everything is mentioned over here. If you want to get started with it, I've already done a video on it on my YouTube channel. So you can check out the links in the description below or you can go to the DevOps Bootcamp playlist, right? Let's talk a little bit more about how you can enforce best practices. So if you have, you know, I have some of my services here, right? And uh, you can check out all the nodes here. You can check out all the workloads. So let's say I have three nodes running because I'm running it on Sivo. I go to Sivo.com. And I go here to my Kubernetes Kunal demo. This is the same one. Okay, three nodes, three nodes. See, these three nodes, same one available over here. You can have all the actions and stuff, and uh, the describe command is available. So, yeah, you have the actions. You can check out all the various workloads like pods and replica sets and deployments. If you talk about deployments, for example, you can filter it according to namespaces. You know, if you want, let's say the default ones, select this one. And here, basically, what I wanted to show you was that a service is basically all the, you know, uh, things that are running in your uh, cluster. So let's say just in the, let's say the default namespace, we have the Nginx deployment. This is what I wanted to show you. These are some of the best practices that you can follow. So in the docs that you can see that, okay, these are the, you know, some of the best practices, the checks that Commodore basically is running. And here we can see that there are three critical and four warnings. So we talk about the critical ones. So you can see that this one over here, it's saying that what is checked, it's checking basically if a liveliness probe is not configured for a pod, why should it be checked is also mentioned over here. What are the ignored checks are mentioned over here, right? So the information can be found over here. So these are some of the best practices that you can follow, right? So here it's saying that it's showing me three critical things that is checking, okay? I can, I can ignore it if I want, I can stay with it without, if I want, no no worries, right? Sounds good. So these are the best practices that one can follow. Memory limit missing, so you can see that uh, the memory limit, the resources.limits.memory attribute is not being configured, right? So if I talk, talk about resources, as you can see over here, we don't have a memory limit configured. Sounds good, right? So this is what I wanted to show you when we talk about uh, you know some of the best practices that you can you can follow. I can check it for other services as well. Let's say for uh, you know if I do Cubescape, I have it running over here. Some of the tabs open, so you can basically fit, you know have various tabs open and work accordingly, right? There you go. Right, so you can see pods are available. So let's say if I check this one. Right, you can see information about it. You can check out the actions. You can check out the logs. You can fetch all the logs if you want. And here I just go to services. Here in services, I can say Cubescape. If I just go to let's say collector. Here it's saying that all the best practices pass. That's what we expect from Cubescape. Amazing work. Uh, if I talk about, let's say, the default one in itself, or let's say something else, let's say, for example, Nginx deployment or something. So here you can see some of the checks that we can make in order to make it more secure and follow the best practices, right? So you can configure the resources, as you can see, uh, update the CPU and uh, you know, CPU limit and uh, other things over here as well. So this will basically, you know, as we mentioned that, uh, let's say in the best practices, it's saying that the CPU and memory limits are missing. So let's try to put that. So we can configure the resources, right? So what you can do is set up CPU limits and requests for memory as well, because those, those were the, you know, stuffs that it was telling us, like, okay, these are not the practices that you're following, right? So this is, let's say, if you wanted to do by YAML file, this is what you can do. Right, so if you can just, uh, let's see if I set the request for memory and for CPU, 
right? And then you set the limits for memory and for CPU. Okay, so you can do that. And if once you update the resources, this action will basically update all the modified container resources. So we can do something like that as well. That's done. Pretty cool stuff. So if I go over here, go refresh, see, old, old pods are being terminated. You can also zoom in on the timeline. See, so you can see what changes were made. So Kunal set the limits over here. All right, so that's basically how we can ensure some of the best practices via Commodore. I've done some previous videos on it already, so make sure you check it out. It's a pretty amazing tool. And uh, if you don't want to dive too much into you know, the troubleshooting um, you know, problems, I'd highly recommend checking it out. Check out my previous video on Commodore as well. It will help you, you know, quite a lot to get started with the platform. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section below. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.